Whatever happened to cup stacking? Is cup stacking still a thing? Still going strong? I feel like it was a big deal for like a few years. Oh, it turned into the Anna Kendrick song. So true. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. That's another Peloton hood classic. It was a huge deal in middle school. We didn't have cup stacking when I was in middle school. We had crazy bones. No joke. I, I don't know which was first, but my first two purchases of anything on the internet, one of them was I bought a ghastly Pokemon card off eBay and the card was like 40 cents. And then by the time all the shipping and handling was done, it was like $11 to get it to my house. This must have been in like 1999. So it was like well before Amazon reinvented how to do last mile delivery. And also I lived out in the country. But it was like such a novelty to get a Pokemon card online in, the, in that era that it was almost like it was worth it, you know? Just to, just to have like a van pull up to my house and be like, here's your Pokemon card. I was like, whoa, I didn't even have to leave my house. All I had to do was digitally send someone 40 cents, which was almost impossible in 1999, especially as someone who was 11 years old, and then uh, type in my address pay another $12 on my mom's credit card to FedEx or something like that, and then wait four to six weeks for it to arrive at my house. The other one was I traded crazy bones with a stranger online. And I remember me and my friend both did it. I traded, um, I can't remember what my trade was for, but I sent my crazy bone and I received the crazy bone that I asked for. My friend sent his crazy bone, but he did not receive the crazy bone he asked for. So close. What crazy bone did he ask for? He asked for Jaws, the shark crazy bone, but he got scammed. I don't want to brag, but like the same friend, he, um, we used to play crazy bones together and I would usually win. And the reason I would usually win is because we, he lived on a farm, so he, his parents would like make him do real work. I didn't do anything. Like I was the only child. I just played crazy bones all the time against the wall. <laughs> so after a while, I had like won so many of his crazy bones that his, uh, his mom took me aside and was like, you can keep playing crazy bones, but please stop playing them for keeps because our son is getting really upset. And I was like, okay, that's fair. I valued the friendship more than I valued the crazy bones, but... Skill issue? Well, like, it was, it was not fair, you know? Because, like, when you're, when you're living in the country in the pre-online gaming era, like, there's no skill-based matchmaking. It's region-based exclusively. Whoever your next-door neighbor is that, like, has a kid that's around the same age as you, he becomes your opponent in everything. It wasn't fair for my friend. If, if there was a video game that was, like, how far could you, like, carry a heavy-ass pail of milk, he would have cooked me. But they don't make video games like that. Every single one was like, you know, <laughs> Super Smash Bros and stuff like that. I remember playing Super Smash Bros with him and some of our other friends. And they got so mad at me because I, like, I was playing as Link or Samus. I mean, it happened multiple times. But I was, I, you'd play as a character with a gun or a sword. And then with items on, you would pick up a gun or a sword. And they would be like almost fist fighting. They'd be like, Link already has a sword. You can't pick up another sword. Like, my guy doesn't have a sword. I hate that NL uses items in Smash. Brother, this was age 10 when there was one Smash game. There was no, there was no meta for... You ride your bike over to your friend's house. The 10-year-old kid in the fifth grade is going to be like, You're, you really play with sledgehammers on? There were no streamers, like, corrupting the nation's youth or anything. I'm not even being, like, a an idiot on this one. You saw me play Ultimate. I would kick most of chat's ass at Smash. Some of chat would crush me. But like I, I have like 4,000 drunk hours in Smash 64. It, it just gives you some instincts in Smash at least. I'm not trying to say that it's the ideal, you know, Smash experience. You're getting clapped. You'd be surprised, man. I almost beat Lud, remember that? 
I know you're like, Lud's not good. He's, he would kick you, all of your asses, not even most of your asses. I don't believe you beat most of Chad. Bro, I was elite in, in Smash Ult and I don't, or Smash Ultimate. I don't even know what I'm doing. People had to teach me what neutral moves were. I would destroy you in melee? Yo, I would destroy your ass in 64. We're not talking about dead games. We're talking about ultimate. Would you beat Chad in Street Fighter? I would say no. Smash is a different story because you just have to press one to two buttons to do every move. Other fighting games are a, it's a different animal. I, I, don't, I don't remember the time when I played Super Smash Bros like 12, uh, 11 years ago. And then Ryan just kicked my ass and I was like, you suck, Ryan. You say you are not good at this game. And like, I legit has, have never played this game before. And you're just kicking my ass. And every time he killed me, he was laughing. He was so toxic. And I was like so mad. And I said, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And then Chet was like, wow, Kate is so toxic. I'm like, are you kidding me? This guy lied to me. He said he is not good at this game. And here I am legit first time picking this game up. And he's just kicking my ass. That's freaking terrible. It's like same thing. Ryan also does the same thing. He goes like, uh, you're, what was it? I was like, do you know how to play chess? And then he goes like, I think I'm okay at chess. And I was like, oh, are you, are you good? Are you good at chess? And he's like, no, nah, I know how to play chess. And I was like, oh, okay, I know how to play chess too. And then he's like, oh, okay. And I was like, do you know how to play chess? Be careful, I'm pretty good. And then he's like, oh, okay. He just like checkmated me in like turn 10. And I was like, I was like so angry. I wanted to flip the table. And I was like, bro, like when I said I'm good, I meant like I know it as a board game good, not like um local champion. And then after he wins, he goes like, oh, winning feels good. By the way, I was a local champion. When I was like 12 and I read books about openers, like openings and stuff. And I was like, are you kidding me, bro? I just like, I just know what the pieces do. That's it. And, and you say you're like, you know, the rules, that's it, bro. You gotta, you gotta tell me that you're like good at something instead of like, oh, I just know the rule. I was like, <sighs> Chad, who do you think is a better chance? Kate at chess or me at Mahjong? I have zero percent on chess. I don't even know the rules of Mahjong, but I feel like Mahjong has more luck involved. And as a result... No, I don't know. Even with the luck, if you don't know it, then you will lose it. You will not defeat me at chess. I will not defeat him in chess. It's, it's a mathematical it's... certainty. Do you, do you... Just, just to make my husband feel better, let's play chess. Okay, but don't look at chat. I don't think Chad can help me. Chess. It's no there's one probably, can help me. There's probably somebody in there that's as big a nerd as I am. Don't worry, I've already analyzed the board. I see mate in two. What? When did my wife learn the opening? What? There, there's an opening? <laughs> there's an opening? Oh, come on. You're going to disrespect me like this? You're going to go for the scholar's mate? I, I, I'm trying to remember what Ryan did. Eight years ago, when I met him in Toronto, and uh, this guy goes, oh, I play okay chess. And then I'm like, okay. And then uh, he beat me in five turns. I'm about to brain flex on you so hard. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like when my husband brain flex me. I read Beowulf in the old English in the seventh grade. And I understood what was going on. I don't. I don't. My God. What can I do? Is there even something that I can do? What does that even mean? <laughs> It was not even in English! It was not in English! It's a maneuver never before seen in what casual chess. What the shit chess. is that? <laughs> en passant? En passant. 
It's like if you try to move your pawn past my pawn, my pawn goes, uh uh. My Joy-Con doesn't even move! He broke my Joy-Con. I can't even. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. The game is broken. My. Is the oh game... no, the, the game broke. The game broke. Oh, players left. Wow, Ryan. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You... <laughs> You're so. You were worried that I was gonna beat your ass? The freaking, I, I did punch Ryan though. I, was, I did punch him. And then I, I forgot what it was. We were like either... I, I don't know what we were talking about. We were talking about something. And then it wasn't about Ryan. I was just like, in my high school, there was a girl. And she always says like she's bad at something. Like she was very typical Asian. You know how like... Oh my gosh, I failed the test. I failed the test. Oh, wah, 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 wah. And I'm like, oh no. Like, I didn't fail the test. I got B. How bad did you do? And then she's like, oh, I got 98%. Wah, I failed. I'm like, what the fuck? You did better than me? That's not a fail, bro. That's like literally one question away from perfect. How's that a fail? I got B, brother. And then she was like, oh, but it's not perfect. I could have gotten perfect. It's so fail. Wah, 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 wah. And I was like, I hate this kind of personality. Like they can go fuck themselves. I hate that so much. And then Ryan goes like, oh yeah, I hate that kind of personality too. Like, you know, if they're, if they're just like, if they get 98%, just tell Satan like you did, a, you did a good job. Like, why do you have to say you, you failed? And I was like, oh, look who's talking, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you do that and then Ryan's like no I don't do that I don't do that and I'm like yes you do you do that dude you say you're not good at chess and guess what you were like a local champion oh 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 <laughs> you said yo I'm not good at Super Smash Bros oh I never played it and then he goes like actually I have a 4,000 drunken hours in this game who have 4,000 hours not so good I'm just like this this guy legit like that's who he is and he goes like I don't like a personality like that I'm like that's you Are you really sick of the way the time Are you changing your gears? Have you had enough of do diddle 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 di